up everybody, I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back once again for another Not So Berry Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one family that you play for 10 generations and each generation is themed after a different color. So today we're gonna be checking out your Sims that you've submitted in the gallery to see what friends, lovers, and enemies we can find to join our girl River. We'll be joining River for her first day of high school. So a lot of very exciting things to do here. I'm excited to jump in. Before we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It is my dream to hit 900,000 subscribers this year and we're getting so close. So please help me out if you're not already a subscriber. If you are, thank you so much for joining the Danger Fam. It's always good to see you. Let's check out our Sims. As always, we use hashtag Kelsey not so very. I cannot wait to see all the sips that you guys created for me. Oh my gosh, so many dreamy sips. Look at this, such an artistic soul. Okay, Noah Celio. Check out Noah's eyes, says Begotten. They're like a secret sauce in a vintage love novel. His wavy hair, think thought cascades, totally poetic vibes. He's a dreamy artist, not just chasing romance, but diving deep into the human soul. Love his world, picture a blank canvas waiting for him to unleash some crazy colors and every time someone catches a glimpse it's like poetry happening no it's basically the living breathing no man's novel <laughs> dreaming an artsy love interest for river whoa i think i'm gonna be adding these teens to copperdale maybe oh my god this is where the green triplets are god and i forgot my brother moved in with them now and they all live there together that's so cute i'm gonna move him into this house and we're gonna evict those who are in it Sorry, bye. All right, let's check out who else we got. Paige Mulligan. She is so pretty, okay. From Weathered, Paige Mulligan has everything. She's talented, she's pretty, and her family is fabulously wealthy. For some reason though, most people seem to be intimidated by her. She's a loyal friend if you're in her clique, as long as you can keep up appearances, that is. As president of the photography club, she's bound to befriend the blue gen, but she also might add to River's crippling need to fit in. This is perfect. She's like the Regina George to our girls Gretchen Wieners. Let's be real, River would be a Gretchen Wieners, okay. I love that. Such a clever idea. I'm going to move her in here. Actually, no, her parents are fabulously wealthy. We need like the biggest house. So she should be here, actually. We'll like move her in. No, her hair. Oh, I hate that. We'll have to go fix all of those in a minute. Oh my gosh. Look how cute she is. I love. Oh, and she's got like two different eye colors. Okay, so cute. No description. So she's a blank page here from Constellation. Constellation, thank you so much for Lucia. I'm going to put her in this like cuter little little guy here oh my gosh all of these sims are so pretty wow kaoki making some beautiful sims here there's no way i have any of that custom content but they look oh my god these are so cute <gasps> look at juliet charismatic juliet is serena's to rivers blair oh i love it she waltzes through life effortlessly charming but those around her down to earth laid back air her sister elise keeps to herself not wanting to be compet i don't even know that word but has resolved to set her worries aside and pursue her passions without being swayed by the opinions of others will river go after juliet the object of her envy and admiration or will she comfort in elise's sincerity and quiet determination all master list custom content bless you for using content from my master list. Y'all are rock stars. Let's go. Let's put you here. There's a lot of empty houses in this neighborhood, which is kind of nice. Ooh, oh my gosh. Hello, two besties for River. Brielle Duke and Julius Cobb. I love Julius Cobb's look. He is so cute. Brielle is top of her class, prom queen, and everything that River has ever wanted. We got a couple different queen bees here. Julius is captain of the football team. Best friends with his sister, Brielle, and is everything that River has ever wanted. Will River win over a potential rival and gain a love story in the process? Will she go through high school as just another wannabe? You decide. These siblings are adorable. I love them. I'm going to move out some of these Williamsons. Lorenzo Woods and Vivian Woods. The Woods twins just moved to Copperdale. Lorenzo looking for love and Vivian looking for friendship. All of the girls loved Lorenzo, but he had his eyes on someone else. River Barry. Vivian eventually walked up to her and they bonded quickly over having boy problems of wanting to settle and have a family. Will Lorenzo have the courage to ask River out or will they mean just friends? I'm gonna move them in here. 
Bye. It bothers sometimes people where I just like put them in a random plot of land. I'm like, they're fit sims, they're fine. I think that's so charming that you guys are like, I want my sims to be taken care of and have a house even if I'm not playing with them. That's very sweet. I am so not that person. Kinsley. Okay, he's a cutie patootie. I love this burrito ninja too. Pop him maybe in with... Maybe in with her. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone for submitting Sims. This is so fun. I love all these Sims. These are great. Oh my gosh. This guy looks so cute. Azul Levino. River and Azul meet at lunch and get to talking about cooking and photography. Azul suggests the idea of making a social media account and posting the food they make together. <gasps> Wait, that's such a good idea in general that she should be like a foodie social media star. Will they, they time they spend with their love cooking and photography only get them as close as friends or maybe turn it to something more? We're getting some op shans and I love to see it. Keep scrolling. I know I got a lot. A lot of you guys submitted Sims, so I want to see them all. Kay Kimura. Kay, the nerdy, down-to-earth, fun guy, just wants to graduate and start his career as a tech guru. But the moment he sees River, his entire world freezes and he knows it's going to change forever. Ah, so cute. I love all your guys' descriptions. It's so sweet. I'm obsessed. Let's maybe grab like a few more in this cast of characters and then we'll start it up. Ooh, I love this. Sam Rivers Frenemy. This is from Disney Villainous. Ooh, I love the name. On Wednesdays, we were pink. Unless your name is Riverberry, Sam immediately takes a disliking to River and claims she copied her preppy style. As the popular girl in school, she'll do anything to maintain her status. Will River attempt to befriend Sam in order to come out on top? Find out on Kelsey Nuts and Berry. I love that there's like a bunch of kind of popular girls that are all out to make her feel inferior. The preppy girls are here, which makes Makes me think that maybe we need a couple, you know, not so preppy sims to balance us out. Some jocks, okay, we got a little pack of jocks. <laughs> These two youngsters are sports nuts through, through, through and through, says Begotten. Swim team check, soccer club check, winter ski. Begotten made so many sims and they're all so customized. So I wanna say thank you, Begotten. Winter ski trip, check, and in between. They're pumping away at the gym and climb every rock in the near area. I could totally see her getting with like a perfect jock or like a nerdy boy. Wait. This girl's so cute. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, wait. I, I was gonna look for a non-preppy sim, but then this girl, like her name's Julia, and she's so cute. She's a, she's a romantic and cheerful. I feel like she'd be like the one actually good friend that would work out for our girl River. One more sim that isn't preppy, I promise, I promise. I thought I saw like a couple sims that were like more punk. Oh my gosh, Jake Holla made all of these really cute sims. They all have dogs, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen. She's so pretty, Carly Cortez. She looks like a little less preppy, which I love. And she's got a cat named Dixie. Carly and Dixie are new to town. Basically, Carly is or was a witch from the 1600s that got cursed. So every 50 years, she comes back and has to make one true friend. Wait, what? <laughs> what is this? Story. As you can see, the first 200 years weren't that great. So when Carly meets Dre Dixie, it's a true match. Anyway, at school, Carly meets perfectionist River Barry, and in the next five days, they are the bestest of friends. And twist, Carly is forced to choose to have her magic and wreak havoc or become human. This is wild. So we're gonna pop her into one of these lovely Forgotten Hollow houses here. Now I'm going to quickly run and add some of the custom content back on the ones that we might have missed. So I'm gonna take some creative liberties. Unfortunately, my, all of your sims might not all look perfect, but they're all gonna look as close as I can get to them. So I'll see you guys very soon. So unfortunately, I was playing for like 20 minutes or so, and I realized I was not filming the gameplay. But the only thing you missed was that they Baby Robin has aged up. I haven't even given her a makeover yet. And you miss like us having like the Sunday before school, which I pretty much skipped through anyway because I wanted to get to high school. We're at high school right now and it is a fire drill. So we've had one period, it's a fire drill. Unfortunately, most of your Sims haven't yet appeared at the high school, mainly because my mod for adding and like selecting which students are in high school isn't working. So I've decided to essentially delete the Sims that I don't like out of the high school, mercilessly and without warning, such as Marcel Harris. Marcel Harris, you're not my favorite, so you're going to be deleted. 
immediately. Brielle Duke, she has arrived at school. We did have to give her a bit of a different hair, but she is a mean girl who's perfect in every way. And unfortunately for us, Brielle and her do not have good compatibility. And what I was thinking is that it might be mean girl Brielle that first pointed out to River, like, what's that on your face? Which might make River pretty uncomfy and start putting makeup over it and hiding it. We're meeting Show Ito and talking with the firefighters for the fire drill. Nothing to see here, but fire drill is over. So it's time to go have lunch. We're running in because we really want some food, like a junior lunch. Cause she's definitely not a senior and that's for sure. She's gonna go sit at the table with the other students. There's only like three left. There's Shoido, which I feel like in every generation there's a Shoido. There's Brody Yokoyama and then there's Brielle. So obviously we want to go discuss interests with Brielle and be Brielle's best friend. Bye everyone. I don't care about you anymore. Hi Brielle. Oh my gosh, how is this meal? Like so good, right? And then we're gonna compliment her out, be like, I love your outfit. Imagine if tomorrow River showed up in the same outfit. You need to be friendly with a faculty member. So why don't you go chat with your teacher and like give her a respectful introduction. She's gonna be like, hi, I'm River. This is Wiki Parada. And we got to study for our exams, which I still don't think I'm able to do. I've never been able to do that in The Sims since it like launched. I can't do it if I click on myself. I haven't been able to do it if I click on my locker, which is over here. No options for her locker. There's no options if you click on the desks, on this board, on here, like just nothing. But she can join an after school activity and she will. You guys should tell me if you think that she should be on cheer squad. But she has added only one person on Social Bunny and it is Brielle Duck. We're gonna message Brielle and send her like a friendly message. And we're gonna post a new post about orientation. Do a fire drill one that's like funny. It'll be like, the benefit of being fire prepared is that I got to miss out on class time in that pop quiz. And we said, we should get together and hang out sometime. Oh yeah, she is so putting it on. What happens when the bowling ball is attached to a rope and swung around class? River doesn't know just yet. That's why she's in class. The teacher is asking for volunteers. This might be River's big chance to learn Newtonian physics firsthand. She's gonna just listen to the teacher's instructions. Maybe it was because River wasn't really paying attention, but for some reason she realized that bowling ball was flying at her face about 0.2 seconds before it bounced off her forehead. Thankfully, it wasn't going very fast, but it still hurt. Yeah, that would hurt. I'm shocked how charismatic she is. That's like very really random. I guess it was because she was, as a kid, she was like very, very social. She's all done with her first day of school. Oh my goodness. We didn't really meet anyone, but she impressed her teachers and learned a lot today. Good job. And Ivy and Fletcher just got home. So let's go home and maybe go hang out after school somewhere. Actually, maybe we should do that now. Hopefully run into other teams that haven't been deleted yet. Oh, it's my little brother's birthday. I wanna ask Brielle to hang out. So Brielle and I are going to the clothing shop. We're going to Thrifty. Sometimes I wanna like switch Thrifty up. So I wonder if I should like, so I always go to Thrifty and I love Thrifty, but it'd be kind of fun to download like a new spot there. We are back and oh my gosh, it's time for a fashion show for you. Fashion show contestant, she's an adult. So far, no other teens, but that's okay because Brielle is here. Wait, <gasps> we didn't cover up our our thing. We're gonna run to the bathroom and she's gonna go touch up her face. Why is the thrift store owner just, actually, I think this is one of yours as Sims. Let me see. It's not, this is Sophie Callahan. This is some of, some of your guys' as Sims, but it's like a Sim that's my mom's age actually. So my bad, my bad, my bad. Actually, this is one of your Sims. Bran is one of your Sims, look, oh my gosh. Let's do like a cheerful introduction to Bran. Ran. Also, I feel like Brielle and her could fight over boys, which, or girls even, which would be hilarious. Oh my gosh, and Nicholas Walker. This is also one of your guys' Sims, who's also very hot. So let's, no, 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 not a flirty introduction yet. We just have to meet everybody. Okay, you need to stop. We're gonna do a cheerful introduction, a friendly introduction, and break. Wait, is this also one of your Sims? This is, this is Kay Kimura. Why did the Sims do him so dirty? This is one of your guys' Sims too, Bonnie Peters. This is Noah Celio. I didn't know, I realized he was a dream. Boat. He's like famous. I did not have the right hair for him. So apologies. We're chatting with Bran. We're feeling confident, but this girl's gotta like, she's gotta stop this madness. Okay. Girl, you need to stop. You know what? I'm gonna make her like leave. Okay. We need to go introduce ourselves. Not a flirty introduction, just a normal one. She's just became friends with Duke. 
or Bran. Why won't she go in? It's like she's just freezing out here. This is so unfun. She's just miserable. Okay, I'm gonna go edit her and Kaz with her face looking like that. She's gonna run in the bathroom, maybe purchase some makeup and we're actually going to sadly remove it and add more makeup to her face, which is like very tragic for me, but we're gonna do it. She just doesn't look like our girl without it. It's fine, we're gonna give her more eyeliner and then give her like even thicker lashes. She does have this fit, which looks oddly similar to the girl that she met today. So I think it might be funny if she like adjusts her fit a little to like look more like her. It would be so cute. She doesn't know any better. I think it's cute. If you guys hate it, it's fine. But you guys will have to remind me when she gets a little older to put a birthmark back on because I may, may or may not forget about it. Change her outfit to her secondary outfit so she looks even more like Brielle. And Vincent Gorgino also entered the building. We can introduce ourselves to Kai Kimura. She's gonna go see what's happening. And now we can introduce ourselves to all these different Sims. And I don't know what's going on with this fashion co consistent. Everything's going well. We're meeting some of the other students our age which is cool. We met Sterling. We should meet Sterling Yamaguchi. He seems cool or maybe not. Who else is coming in here? Who's this? Chiro Robles. All right, so we're like meeting some new people. I want this poor man to have his like outfit back. So I'm gonna change him back to his everyday. There we go. This is what he normally looks like. Very cute sim. I love the tattoos, a little bit more bad boy energy. Look at her little face, she looks so happy. Ask him about things, tell him like a funny joke or something. Brielle's hanging out with Ted, who honestly, I'm sorry, Ted, I do not like the vibe. He looks very randomized to me. You are the weakest link, goodbye. Key and her seem pretty, pretty cool. Any feelings about Key? Maybe get some snacks here or just some food. Why don't you go drink one of these drinks that seems like someone else ordered and then abandoned? Lots of people in here. Who's this? Brianna Lothario, another fashion enthusiast and teen. Okay, she's got a lot going on here. I'm debating if I'm gonna delete her or not. We'll see, if she ends up at school tomorrow, maybe I will delete her. But she's having her, her drink, hanging out with all these fashion enthusiasts. It feels like all the teens left. She's, I guess, meeting people. Let's like add some people on our social bunny. We'll just add just the teens that we just met. So we'll add Kat. Kai, Kai, Key. I keep pronouncing it differently, so let me know. We are going to add Bran. We are going to add, that's it, I guess. Regardless, it seems like a bunch of randos and I came here to meet you guys. So I guess we'll go home. Also, I'm like really hungry and my needs are really bad and I gotta do my homework. So later skaters, I'm excited for school tomorrow. Either I delete more Sims, which is fun, or the proper Sims will come to school. Either way, it feels like a win. Why are my two infant siblings outside. What the heck, mom and dad? Why would you leave them outside? Wait, no, one's right there. Where's the other one? Robin's right here. And Ro Royal. Royal's over here? I tell him to teleport him over here. There's no way. There we go. That's better. Let's cook a cake together with our husband, maybe? Little Royal Berry gonna be a Todd. Sweet Robin has fallen asleep. I do need to give her a little bit of a makeover. So luckily I haven't done that yet, but that's what she looks like in case you guys hadn't seen her yet. Okay, Fletcher St. James, why don't you put the birthday candles on the cake? And then we will have mom bring over and help blow out candles for Royal Berry. Happy birthday, Royal. You gotta wake up, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Royal. Look at Royal, so cute. We got a floating plate, but it's all good. And Royal is fussy. He's a fussy little Todd. Royal's hair is different here. I think I'm gonna definitely give him a different haircut because I'm not a big fan of that one. I'm not a big fan of this hairdo in general. I just feel like he's gotta have like a little, little guy hairdo. Something like his dad. Oh my God, the bowl cut's hilarious. That one's okay. Just feels like they got a lot of hair for this little guy, but I guess toddlers can have a lot of hair. So this is jammies. I feel like I like these kind of jammies. Let's do his everyday look. I don't know, he hasn't shown a lot of personality yet, besides being like a little bit of a younger brother vibe. We'll give him the usual, usual fits, and then we'll see how he goes. Party time. Honestly, I don't hate the top, I just don't love the bottoms. 
little jeans. There we go. And then we'll have like little cute shoes in like a blue or something. Hot weather wear. Oh, that one's so cute. Little jeans maybe, or little shorties. And then cold weather. That's so sweet. I love the puppy slips. No notes. This is our little, our little royal and then our little Robin here. I don't know how Robin got that skin tone. I also don't really know where the hair came from, which makes me think that Robin is going to be like kind of mom's hair color. Yeah, look, it's green. Do you see these are green brows right here? So Robin's gonna have green hair like mom, which is kind of cute. She'll have brown eyes like dad and green hair like mom. That's kind of cute. But I kind of want her to have like more fun brown eyes. The shiny ones that are cute. And then this shirt's fine. I think her brother had sharks. So I'm gonna give her elephant. The little sheeps, are you kidding me? The little sheep is winning. Fancy wear. <gasps> Shut up, there's like a little dress. That's so cute. I like this one though. And then she'll have the little blue shoes to match. The hat for the sunny wear. I am still giving her mostly like blue things since she's like kind of blue gen-ish. Oh my God, stop, it's so cute the blue perfect okay sweet baby robin there she is that was fun to check them out bold so we got a toddler in the house toddler in the house i think we should get maybe dad to upgrade to toddler bed so, so robin's gonna get put to bed by ivy and river why don't you actually go put your brother here and give some food to royal little little peanut butter jelly sandwich that'd be cute you can go back over and watch more TV if afterwards. Although you do, you do really, you're really tired and you probably should do your homework. Royals eating, moms put Robin to sleep and Robin went straight to sleep and dad's working on the bed. It's so domestic and adorable. Mom's mixing cattails because she loves that. We should just let him out, clean that up once we have a chance. Yay, it's all done. Okay, we need to like adjust it though. Probably move it around a bit. Maybe we'll put it up against the wall here. Put this guy here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Mom, stop making cocktails. Put your toddler to bed. I know it's like your favorite thing to do, but we gotta read your son to sleep. No one ate any of the cake, which is kind of funny to me. Now Royal goes back to bed and his new toddler bed. He's growing up so fast. Royal's learning from mom. Fletcher's, oh, Fletcher's listening in and eating his food in here, hanging out with them. Give him a little tuck in. Maybe give her a little kiss goodnight. I bet Fletcher's just thriving. He loves this. He's like, this is all I wanted. Go to sleep. Probably both of you once once you finish up. River's watching her. Yes, she just leveled up again. Okay, what level are you, girl? She's level three of cooking, okay, and four of photography. Robin's up. Why are you up, Robin? She needs to be kind of like lulled back to sleep. He's like, hey, sweetie, you need to go back to bed, Robin. Everyone, let's go to sleep because I wanna take Ivy to school tomorrow. Royal's up. Dad, why don't you wake up? and go potty train Royal. Let's wake up our girl cause she needs to take a shower. River's feeling pretty good though. Ready for school. Let me know in the comments who you're feeling for her re relationship. I feel like she's gonna be the type of girl that gets in one relationship and never dates anyone else. So that's gonna be the problem I think. So the hand of death is going to strike again. I'm sorry. Oops. Naomi land grab. She doesn't look too bad actually. Instead of <laughs> deleting them, I could just make them young adults. Okay, I'm gonna start doing that. You also should go. Where is our friend, our one friend? There she is. Ask her about things. Let's go gossip with her, I guess. About all these random young adults that are in my school that don't belong here. All these school days are just gonna be us and one other girl. It's so madness. Here's all the quote unquote students of school. Okay, she's going off to class. We're getting a social studies class kind of moment here. The student body is trying to organize a talent show. River thinks this would be a great opportunity to show off her comedy skills. River's friends constantly tell her she's so funny. Why not expand her audience? Should the river sign up? I bet this was so Brielle being like, oh my gosh, yeah, you should totally do that. That'd be so good. I feel like she's gonna be like, no, it's not worth the risk. 
River decides to opt out. Her jokes are for her and her friends only. River would rather enjoy the show as an audience member anyways. Oh, it's career day. Okay, we're gonna go to career day. Scott Lopez. Okay, we don't know him, so we're gonna age him up. This girl, Paige Mulligan, is one of your guys' sims. And she's also like a popular girl, I think. So this is perfect. We'll be a trio now. Hi, Paige. We finally got another one of your guys' sims to join my school. This is perfect. But we should probably listen to some careers. So maybe we'll ask this guy about his career. Paige seems to like us okay. So that's fun. We're gonna add Paige to our contact list. Oh my God, River's been messaging herself saying, I'm so happy to have friends like you because she doesn't get any messages. That's so sad, River. So we're asking him questions about her career. She's gonna be a critic. She's gonna be like a food critic. So I don't think she's gonna be super into anybody's career, but she's gonna still ask everybody about their career anyway. Oh, is she evil? Why is she trying to tell us about evil things? I need to ask this girl about details about her career. And we need to discuss our future with our teacher, who I think this is our teacher, Wiki. Oh, she fell asleep. She's just taking a full nap. She like went outside and napped. She's like, I don't care. Girl is not giving school her all today. She's I think done with school, so she can head home, I guess. I'm going to place like a new location on that tea shop. So it's kind of like something new to do. This one looks really cute. Okay, this one looks great. Let's place this one, put it on Copperdale. Perfect. Okay, so she's gonna travel. She's going to invite Bran, Paige, Kat K. Brielle is not showing up. Apparently Brielle told her no, but we're going to the thrifty anyway. Hopefully she'll talk more with these teens and hopefully get like a first crush or at least you guys can get some of the personality of the teens. All right, so this is what it looks like on the outside. This is the downstairs, like nice and cozy, very thrifty, lots of like rando stuff around. And you have the upstairs, which has even more like relaxing chairs and tables. Let's all like go sit together at like a little table. Yeah, we're gonna just like join the whole group, get some food. I like this new little spot that they've got here. It's very, it's such a vibe. Okay, wait, who are these Sims? Anyone? Amy, Jill, and Brielle. Wait, who is this? This is not the same Brielle though, right? No, it is not the same Brielle. We don't know that Brielle. These are kind of cuter Sims, but like also, I don't want you guys coming to my high school. Uh, so I'm going to age you up. Oh my God, we're getting veggie, we're getting sliders. So is this girl. Actually, no, fried chicken slider. Dang it. We're so close. I mean, at least we're sliders. So we're similar. Let's like flatter Kai and like make a joke about our professors to Bran, who's a, a jock. What is this look? I don't like it. You're out, you're out from me, girl. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just want your guys' sims. Okay, wait, Elise Von Alberti. I think this might be one of your guys' sims. Let me see. Yes, this is one of your guys' sims. We're having fun. Paige is our friend. There's that celebrity guy who's like the cool celebrity, Noah Celilio or whatever. And she just screamed at him. Maybe ask him if you can, he's like, hey, what's up? I am celebrity. He's actually talking to me. I mean, my mom is famous, isn't she? Let's compliment his appearance. Tell him he's cute. Maybe like ask about his interests. Be like, what are you so interested in? We're just really trying to get to know Noah, but it's not working out. <laughs> Brandon Page and her are getting along actually pretty well. Definitely not with Amy though, for some reason. These two are getting along. That's really cute. Maybe we should like try to take some photos together with the other Sims. Looking cute. Work it girl, yes. Love that pose. Yes, another good one. We are crushing this photography skill, kind of. I need some fun. Can we like dance to the music maybe? Get in there, girl, you got this. Everyone's dancing, we're having a good time. She's so exhausted. Can you do like your homework over here maybe? All my teen friends left. She's finishing up her homework while she's here. She's burning the midnight oil here. Julia Brown. I think this might be one of your guys' Sims. Let me, let me see. Finally found another one of your Sims. Julia Brown, let's have a cheerful introduction to you. Yeah, we're exhausted, but at least our fun's like, okay, while we're hanging out here. We're gonna meet Julia, which is great. Hey, fellow teen, nice to meet you. And we're going to add you to my social bunny. We're gonna add all the teens that we met today to our friend group. 
Julie Brown, Elise. I think that's all the teens that we met today. Because most of them were deleted. Let's get this girl home. I'm glad I met some more teens. I'm glad I updated the tea house. It's been so fun getting a little bit of a refresh. I wanna know in the comments, which of these Sims you think that she should get like fall for and get married to. I like these girls that are kind of like mean girls that are all her friends. Maybe like one of them influences her, you know, to have this like crazy affair. And then which after she has it, she's like, I don't, I don't know myself. This isn't me. Who knows? I'm going to leave this one right here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you had a great time. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments of your ideas. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.